This is Greater MSP Business with Cindy Brucato. As projects go, it doesn't get more stunning or high profile than the expansion of the Mall of the Emirates in Dubai. Leading this plum of a project is the DLR Group, an architecture firm headquartered in Minneapolis with 21 offices nationwide and 700 employees. DLR works in exotic locations but has projects large and small with expertise in retail complexes, education buildings, civic structures, and workplace design. And we're here with Griff Davenport, the CEO of the DLR Group. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Why have you established the strategy of, of, of working on such a diversity of projects? We have been practicing um, a number of different project types for nearly 50 years. Um, the business was really founded uh, in the Midwest with a focus on uh, uh, education. And the success in education led us to uh, projects and communities who were also interested in civic and justice, and which uh, led us to the private sector, office space, uh, workplace, uh, retail, etc. So we've not always had a focus on uh, eight core markets. Uh, it's something we've grown into over a, over a long history. You didn't mention Dubai, however, so let's talk about it. How did you land that project? Well, it's interesting. We um, affiliate, first of all, we hire great people, and uh, great people tend to uh, migrate to us. Admittedly, that was recruited uh, personnel. Um, we had a very strong retail practice uh, that had grown with projects at, uh, in Hawaii at the Ala Moana Center, uh, projects here at the Mall of America. And um, we absolutely went after somebody that had some experience with the Mall of the Emirates and actually was part of the original design there. Um, that person was located in Pasadena, California, in one of our offices there. And we saw continued opportunity with the developer there. And uh, we ended up with a, a team that had a passion for retail design and a passion for work in the Middle East and growing us. And so part of the entrepreneurial spirit of DLR Group is to listen to those opportunities as they surface and um, follow clients. And so we followed that client to the Middle East. And in fact, just last month, we've uh, rented space in a new um, enterprise zone in Dubai and opened a formal office in Dubai. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. So when you get these teams together, what are you looking for in an architect and an engineer? Well, uh, certainly their background in education is important. And uh, being here in Minnesota, we've had a, you know, there's a lot of uh, opportunity for educated staff to work with us both on an architecture standpoint and an engineering standpoint. Um, and so first of all, we look for people that are creative, have a design instinct, that are committed to doing great design as we are. Second of all, uh, in, the, in those cases where you're looking at people to, to grow an office, grow a practice, grow a client, um, they've got to have the interests of the client in mind. And uh, so we look for people that are listeners first and then bring their creative juice to the table and uh, develop a partnership with our owners. Uh, no, Dubai is no, no, uh, uh, no different. Um, we worked hand in hand with that group uh, to develop the solutions around the mall. So do these people participate in what you call integrated design? Well, integrated design today is, um, you know, architecture and engineering is a very broad field. And um, I think it's become uh, evident that um, when a building is put together, whether it's retail, education, justice, any of our core sectors, it takes a number of different expertise, uh, quite a bit of different expertise to come together to produce that final solution. When they do that together, so when the architect and designer and interior designer and um, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, structural engineer all sit down at the same table trying to resolve the same solution for an owner, that's called integrated design. It's not us first as architects, then engineers, and in some years past, that's the way it's been. Uh, today, it's uh, a, a small studio of professionals that we sit down with an owner from the very outset to produce the kind of design product that we're after. What projects present the greatest challenges? And by that, I do mean difficulties. Well, you know, all projects uh, present some kind of a challenge, and that's what makes this profession interesting. There's really no two projects or no two days that are the same. But, you know, when you get into public education um, and you're dealing with a broad community and everybody has an opinion about what their high school or elementary school should look like or who, who should be involved with it, um, those are challenging. When you get into uh, big mixed-use projects or projects like the Mall of America where you have so many vested partners in the uh, development of projects like that, they're challenging. Um, they're not problematic, it's just challenging. And I think that's what makes the, pr the profession interesting. Thank you very much. Griff Davenport from the DLR Group. For Greater MSP Business, I'm Cindy Bricado.